City Redmond. Yes, I am a native of South Central Los Angeles and a proud member of the Bus Riders Union. My neighborhood is primarily Blacks, Latinos, single mothers, students, elderly of all ethnic backgrounds. Most are low income and or unemployed, and like myself, they rely on the buses to negotiate their daily lives. I am very excited about the opportunity to shape a first class bus system in Los Angeles. One that when implemented would provide emotional relief and economic stimulus for low income communities in South Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley, and all over Los Angeles where bus service is desperately needed. I urge the MTA board members to adopt the Bus Rider Union's platform for 500 expansion buses. No service cuts, reversing the 2007 fare hike, and allocating $150 million for the expansion of a countywide bus only lane. Demographically, South Los Angeles is no longer just black and Latino, but more diverse communities are moving into senior citizen homes in South Los Angeles, including a growing community of Korean elders. As, po as the population diversifies and grows, we need more resources, resources to maintain the economic and social well-being of our neighborhoods. In these tough economic times, it's even more crucial that we have expansion of a bus system to get people to and from desperately needed jobs. And those jobs are not traditionally nine to five. They are hospital workers, food preparers, security guards, refinery workers, custodians, and uh, personnel who work late nights and weekends. I've had to turn down many a job because either the service ends at a certain time or I have to wait at a bus stop at night alone for up to an hour. Expanding 500 buses will not only create more frequent service and less wait time, but it will also create 2,875 more unionized green jobs in Los Angeles alone. We have the right to public transportation that runs more hours, not less. Contrary to MTA's practice of eliminating bus service, we need expansion of bus service hours, not cuts. A cut in service will further segregate communities of low-income people of color, women, elderly, disabled, historically where most service cuts go. A group, these are a group of people that are representative of the majority of people in Los Angeles. Protecting bus riders from further service cuts must be included in the Measure R bus improvement plan. It's also necessary to make buses affordable. I have found myself working part-time jobs just to pay for my bus pass. Reversing the 2007 fare increase would provide a significant emotional and economical relief for myself and many other working class citizens. We can put $120 back into the pockets of people who need to pay for such things as health care. Lastly, reducing car emissions and cleaning the air cannot happen without investing and implementing countywide bus-only lanes. Living in South Los Angeles, a place where we have the worst um, air quality, uh, exacerbates the already high asthma rates in black children and also poses a significant threat to a growing elderly population. We need to ensure a healthy future, starting with the most vulnerable communities. We need to get cars off the road and put people on buses. We started with Wilshire and we want a down payment for the rest of the county. We're calling on Mayor Villagrosa, Supervisor Mark Ridley-Thomas, and the MTA board to 
to adopt the bus riders plan, we want to ensure that bus riders get 20% of the sales tax revenue from Measure R as we were promised. We, the people of Los Angeles, demand the purchase and operation of 500 expansion buses, a $52 monthly pass, and full reversal of the 2007 uh, fare increase, $150 million for countywide bus only lane, and reject any proposal to cut services in 2009. My name is Judy Redman. I'm a proud member of the Bus Riders Union. Thank you.